Hello Power News Lightning Collection fans and welcome back to Toku Topics. Today we're going to be taking a look at the final of the Wave 10 videos for now, uh, since In Space Pink has still not been released anywhere. And this is the Zeo Yellow Ranger, so a highly anticipated figure, uh, because now that we've had Cat announced as well in the upcoming GameStop 2-pack, uh, this will complete our Zeo team. So obviously Tanya made it out before Cat, but we know Cat is coming. Um, so yeah, this is great. I mean, Zeo has been a, a long time coming. Uh, we've had a couple Zeo Rangers, you know, every year basically. Uh, we've already had red, blue, gold, and green, so we just needed the females to, to finish it off. And I think they really did a good job on Tanya here. So uh, the box looks great. You know, obviously the Tom Whalen box art, Zeo Yellow Ranger. You can see everything in there. Of course, on the side, you have the nice side profile. On the other side, you have, you know, part of the helmet, like typical. And of course, you have the back render there, which shows you uh, with uh, nunchucks more painted than the ones you actually get. And uh, all the weapons and stuff. I mean, the Zeos have always been a mixed bag in terms of what kind of paint accessories you get. And oh yeah, Tanya has no exception to that. <laughs> so uh, she definitely continues in the trend of, you know, spinning a wheel, I guess, and determining what paint applications the Zeo Ranger gets to get. Uh, so let's go ahead and, uh, well, first of all, let's take a closer look. The Tanya head looks amazing. I think it's one of the best ones. They just keep getting better with those. And then, of course, there's everything in there. That blast effect, again, they love that thing now. They introduced that with, like, Zeo Red last year, and now they've pumped it out. And, like, I, I, it's, has it been in every wave since then? It was not in wave 7, but it was definitely in wave 8 and 9 and obviously 10. Uh, they love that piece, that effect piece now. Uh, but, yeah, so let's go ahead and open her up. All right, so here is Tanya out of the box, and you get quite a bit with her. I mean, it's a fully, like, you know, everything, it's fully ducked out. Everything you would want Tanya to come with, I think, uh, you have. Um, so, yeah, I mean, obviously, taking a look at some of the accessories here, uh, you get a lot of weapons. You get the standard, basically the standard Zeo arsenal, uh, which, I mean, I guess for Rocky, obviously, uh, since he didn't come with his signature weapons yet. Um, but, uh, yeah, basically, like, you get the same things you would have gotten before. Um, so you get the Zeo pod sword. Uh, which this version is the Tommy Wave 6 version, I believe, where it does not have the gold paint down there, uh, which I believe was present. I know it was present on Wave 4 Rocky. I don't remember anymore if it was present on the Wave 8 Adam because it's inconsistent every single time that we get it. Uh, but uh, this time it's a dark blue, which I know in the past it's been a light blue on the handle. So I do believe that this is a fourth uh, variant of that. Um, so awesome love that this can never be consistent uh this one here uh does not have gold paint on there which i believe was present on rockies and i think adams i think not tommy's like i said it's so hard to keep track of this at this point um but <laughs> which you'd think i would have it memorized and i kind of used to but honestly it's just a lot so just know that hers are the less painted versions of them which i mean it does not matter but it's just strange that like you know it's always all over the place uh, but then here's this effect piece done up in kind of a lime. I, I mean, I guess it's yellow. I, I think we've had it like in a green color before, and I think it's a little bit lighter than that. Uh, but I like this one. Uh, Hasbro really seems to like this one. Of course, you can clip it into the blaster, although be careful because you might chip the white paint on the blaster when you take it off because it is white paint at the tip there. So just be careful, but you know, you should be good. Um, and then of course, I'll show the hands, which I believe are brand new. Yeah, I think these are new female hands. We've never had this kind of hand before, so yeah, kind of. It's sort of like a karate chop hand, kinda, but it's a cool one. I like it. Uh, and you get the same thing for her, uh, for her left hand as well, so or her right hand. So yeah, that looks pretty cool. Um, and then of course you get her nunchuck weapons, which are, you know, you can kind of pose them a little bit because like this is not. I mean, don't like go and try to bend it all the way. Well, I mean. It's kind of an it's kind of a poseable wire. Not it's not a wire, but you know what I mean. Like you can kind of stretch it out a little bit, or you can probably have her hold it like this a little bit. I don't think it would really snap. Don't put too much pressure on it. But um, this is what I was talking about with the inconsistency with the box. So on the box render, you see how it has the silver or the gray on the like string part, I guess, or the chain part in between the two. Well, that's not here. So <laughs> it's not here on either of them. But you do get two of these. So one for each of her hands, which is nice. I'm just happy that uh, all the Zeo Rangers after Rocky got their signature weapons. And thankfully, Rocky is getting his eventually. They said it was happening in 2022. They just didn't say with who. Uh, and then look at the figure itself. This is the first time we are getting the female Zeo mold. So nice to get this here. We're going to pretty much see 
the same thing with the new helmets when we get cat whenever that two pack comes out i think it's currently slated for november i want to say i think so hopefully we'll have it within the next month or so um but uh, she has the white trim around her visor so she's accurate with tommy uh, where Rocky and Adam did not have a uh, white trim, they had a silver trim. So Tommy and Titania are the only ones who show accurate. So there's that. <laughs> um, also, she has that gold trim around her wrist there, which was only ever present on Rocky, and I don't think ever came back again until now, because I'm pretty sure Tommy and Adam don't have that. So I just, I don't get it, guys. <laughs> I don't understand why the Zio team is the one. It's, it's really Zio that is like the most inconsistent between what gets painted on what release. But like I said, I know it doesn't matter. It's just something I want to point out in these reviews because I do think that it's something that should be addressed. Uh, well, that way if people notice it, it's not, they don't think that it's like just their figures missing paint or something. No, the Zeo Rangers are just a complete paint, uh, you know, given up by chance. You know, they, they flip a coin and decide what paint applications happen on a Zeo Ranger figure. Like, I don't think that the cat promo shots showed the white the, the gold trim on the white there. Uh, I'll put up a picture, I could be wrong, and if I am, great. Uh, but like, she might be the only one that has that. I think also cat has a silver trim, so, you know, yay. But I mean, it looks great. I mean, the figure looks great, and the silver trims are not so horrible. Uh, you know, it's just kind of noticeable when you have them all like, you know, out in one unit. Uh, but I mean, also the white is so thin there that it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it looks great. Uh, let's see how tight is that head joint. Okay, so I've just been afraid of the female head joints recently. And we're about to do the, the head swap to Tanya, so I want to make sure that it's sturdy enough to, to, to actually support that. So, so that way it doesn't like rip or break or anything. Uh, because my Aisha from the two pack I took a look at last weekend, the neck joint's starting to rip off of it, and I just took it out of the box. So um, I'm obviously going to swap Tanya's head here, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. So yeah, that wasn't too hard to swap at all. And it looks fantastic. I mean, wow. Hasbro, I think, really knocked it out of the park with this one. Like I said I, earlier, I think that their head sculpts are just getting better and better. And on Tanya here, I mean, it really looks like her, I think. Like, that is a good head sculpt. That is a good likeness. So yeah, shout out to Hasbro on that one. Uh, good good job. I mean, the, the Zeo ones, obviously, uh, Zio Blue is where the infamous Rocky head sculpt comes from, which is the absolute worst in the entire line. I think the Wave 6 Tommy isn't too bad, uh, and I know I think the a lot of people think the Wave 8 Adam is really, really good as well, and I, I have to agree. And I think Tommy looks great here, so if Cat can just... Uh, oh, and Trey's I think is pretty good. Trey and Jason for gold. So if Cat can just, you know, bring us a pretty good head sculpt, the promo shots look nice, uh, then I think we will have a really good looking... Uh, for the most part, it's EO team on our hands here, especially because we're getting a new Rocky head sculpt in the metallic armor, and I'm sure they'll give us another option to have a Zeo era Rocky at some point to fix that. So yeah, looks pretty good. But yeah, that's gonna pretty much do it for Wave 10's Zeo Yellow Tanya figure here. So I uh, just wanted to give a word of caution here. I was really scared of bending her elbows on both arms. I feel like it was a little scary. Uh, this one didn't really want to bend so well. And I literally just broke my Psycho Yellow's arm the last weekend by trying to just simply move it very carefully. So just, that could just be mine. So obviously with any female figure from Lightning Collection, just be careful <laughs> when you're trying to use the joints. Um, but yeah, I mean, it looks fantastic. I can't wait to pose her with uh, Kat and the whole team uh, when we do that. So I'll wait to do a whole Zeo team shot until then. People have already done it. I'm not the first to have you know done that. So I'm not really gonna bother to dig the Zeo Rangers out for this video. Uh, but uh, I will for the cat video once we have the whole team and uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for wave 10 So we can go ahead and bring in phantom ranger, which we took a look at a little while ago and Dino charge green which we took at look at yesterday and uh, We will go ahead and put their boxes here as well. So Wave 10 I think is a spectacular wave of the lightning collection uh, I'm very very happy with how this wave turned out. Obviously, it's not even done yet because we are still waiting for Cassie in Space Pink to actually be released. Uh, hopefully that uh, happens sooner rather than later. Um, like I said earlier, people are speculating that she was held back uh, because we did get that Hasbro live chat answer that said that they were going to be correcting her shoulders uh, since they did not paint the white on the shoulders that she's supposed to have. So people are hoping that that's why she hasn't appeared yet because it is definitely strange that three-fourths of this wave have made it out from GameStop and no sign of In Space Pink. 
Uh, so hopefully we see her soon so we can actually fully complete the wave. But until now, this is what we got. I love this wave. It's spectacular. Because, I mean, you know, it continues a team we haven't had a figure of in a while. It gets us... It does complete a team when you add it to the two-pack. And you have, you know, a big fan favorite that technically starts Turbo, but also, you know, ties into the most recent comic. And, of course, In Space is always going to be popular. So, thank you all for watching all of these videos of Wave 10. Of course, I will be back with every Lightning Collection figure release, uh, and especially In Space Pink, in which we will see these guys again when I do a full proper entire wave shot but uh for now that's what we got so until next time you can follow me on twitter at living ranger key or at lightning fig pr and i'll see you all next time